With the Brady BBP30 and 33 label printers, installing and changing your print ribbon and label rolls is easy. This tutorial works for both printers. You can open the ribbon tray inside the printer by lifting this latch. When you unpack a new ribbon, or change to an alternate ribbon, you'll notice the ribbon cartridge itself has on it a stamped Brady logo. Notice that the inside of the tray has the same logo. Simply drop the ribbon cartridge in place, lining up those logos, and making sure that Brady faces up on the ribbon. Press the clip side firmly into place until it clicks. Now to load your label roll. We'll show you how to install three different types of media. Continuous, die cut media, and e-prep. When loading continuous material, first set the yellow media guides to their widest position. Then gently place the label cartridge into the printer with the label coming off the top of the spool, like this. Feed the tape through the yellow media guides to the rubber roller. Push the guides towards the label edge so that the arrows are pointing downward on each guide and lining up to the edge of the liner of the label material. Engage the media wiper arm down on the label. When loading die cut media, or notched media, load the label roll the same way as the continuous media, but make sure the arrows on the media guides line up with the edge without pinching or buckling the label liner. For die cut labels, do not engage the wiper arm. When loading e-prep media, load using the same method as the self-laminating labels, making sure the media guides are close enough to the material to touch it, but to not pinch the liner. Again, leave the media wiper arm disengaged. Now you're all set, close up the printer, and you're ready to start labeling.